Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for a little more Crusader Kings 2. I'm your Leo Scalvin. Oh, lack of ambition. Well, let's start by solving that. Are we going to war in the next five years? God, I hope not. Well, maybe. I've considered, you know, invading Italy outright. Ten points of tyranny. Crowned. Hmm. He's only six. Still managed to command ten thousand. But yeah, I've I've considered it. Uh, just invading Italy and taking over Provence. Well, you know what? No, we're, we're gonna see the realm prosper. It's easier that way. And soon, well, good, we've almost worked our way up to Legalism 5, which will allow us to get up to Absolute Crown Authority, though we're still a little ways away from such. Friggin' Raiders, man. Alright. No thanks. Uh, should I also start upping my military org a bit more? Mm, maybe. Problem is, I'm like, like I said, I've been kind of saving up for that stuff. The, um, everything else up to three. But at this point, considering my income. Hmm. So 300 per. And I can have at this point about eight. That gives me a little over 2,000 in entirely cavalry. Yeah, Alright. We'll go for it. So, army of surrenders. Really, can we not rename the army? Out of anything? Hmm. Oh well. I thought we could rename armies, but apparently not. Oh well. Your daughter-in-law. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't really looked too much at how this whole Cathar Papacy works, but it seems like non, I guess, what what's the term? But she lives County Narborn. Yeah, no, she's straight up just the Count of Narborn. So if she ascends to the Cathar Papacy, what happens? Next question, can I be a... Can I? Mm. Okay. So what? What? Let's see. Secular power plus three hundred. So I probably get like plus four hundred. That opinion of lieges. Okay. Virtue traits. Learning. Piety. Age. At age. Prestigious dynasty. I see. Interesting. So, there is a uh, chance at some point that I may seize the Cathar Papacy. Believe me, if I can, I probably will. The union of church and state in its absolutist form. Blessed people. Alright. Seriously, I swear we could rename armies. Oh well. Move this over here. Oh no. There. Stro strengthen the flanks. Alright, good. Yeah, let's do some, uh, some carousing. Oh wow. Jesus, the council fell apart fast. You, study the technologies. You, get me some money. And you, I want a claim, damn it. A claim! Alright. How are we looking at uh, changing regular laws? Uh, 21, good. 
Because active culture conversion would be very nice to have. For a variety of reasons. Including but not limited to the Subi, the Portuguese, the Castilian, the Norse. They've had far too much of a presence here. The Catalan. Ugh. We have a lot that we've had to push out of them. There's actually very little Andalusian. Unfortunately, we even have some Catalan rulers. How did you... I swear. Castilian. Really? This is gothic. Good. We better not become Portuguese. The AI is... The AI is really into some culture conversion. I'll say that. They're adopting all these newfangled cultures and leaving the Visigoths behind. Ah, so disappointing. Even... Yeah. Okay, you're Visigothic. Good. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I believe right now we're still recoiling from other disproved peace. Oh no, good. Of course I'll come. Um, good. So that's done then. That means if it comes to it. It may be time to start removing certain dukes from power. Is there anyone underneath them I could even give land to that would be valid? That isn't you. That's good. But ultimately f futile. Oh well. Alright. So, laws. Active culture conversion. Provinces of the wrong culture cannot prosper. Jeez. Nationalist revolts are more likely. Okay. Different culture groups, 1%. So far, so good. But I mean, as long as we can reduce the, uh, you know, numbers, we should be okay. We'll eventually, over time, break them down. Man, so many raiders. Have you also embraced Portuguese? You bastard. Good, you better... I love Agnatic Primogeniture. here, it still goes to a woman. Yeah. But of course we'll endorse this paper. Alright. We need a new chancellor. Bah, I'll get over it eventually. Seriously, how many years is it gonna be before we can get a claim? Narim. Well, congratulations. Well, there goes the Magyars. Fun while it lasted, I suppose. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of... Oh my. Oh my, Italy. Adoptionist. Uh, how long on this prosper thing? 24. All right. Italy is just in really bad straits. Provence would be an easy take right now. And, all right, so we have a... Pray for his eternals. Oh, you bastard. 
He is a wicked priest. Who's also a perfect eye. Somehow. Right. I don't know. I'm not really quite sure how, but sure. Does CK do main retinue is more balanced then? Yeah, I mean, they're a hell of a lot more expensive, and they're very limited in what you can get. So, I mean, on the plus side, these guys are fast moving as hell, which is good. At least I assume they are. They really aren't. Hmm. I thought entire cavalry armies would be faster moving, but uh, they aren't. Hmm. Interesting. Sure, let's go carousing. Always improve our things. Uh, you just fucking ate us. Evil tyrant, minus 100. Sure. Just train the soldiers. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, that's all internal wars. Okay. All of it irrelevant, whilst we wait. Can you play as Poland? I mean, I can. Uh, I don't believe Poland currently exists. There's the Polish culture there. It's just kind of sitting there. It's trying to unite, but a lot of regions have been struggling for that for a while. The actual, it's actually kind of interesting to see the Canites having uh, managed to unite under a singular kingdom at this point. Good work on their part. Ooh. All right, sure, let's summon a, summon a thing. Nope. Uh, I think Operation of the Stars is the martial one. No, that one was the clumsy one. Whoops. Or it might, might be the martial one. It's only a chance it comes out that right. Imperial bureaucrat, eh? Hmm. Imperial courtier. Interesting. So. My courtiers get interesting little traits, do they? Curious. Alright. Is Toulouse Cathar yet? Uh, well, I mean, we're Cathar, but <laughs> the county of Toulouse is right there and not Cathar. Alright. So I think we're just going to Holy Warp for Province here, yeah. uh, following this, which expires soonish? Yeah, May, okay. Six months. In the meantime, I would like to find a decent husband. Do. Just so we get the stats. Very well. Student of language is always good. Sure, we can come. Alright. This will be the first war we get to test out the retinue as well. We have combined now a little over 30,000. So, Italy only being able to muster 6. Bavaria only being able to muster 5. Definitely aren't going to... Sorry, bumped the microphone there. Um, definitely aren't going to be able to stand much of a chance. We've managed to centralize and stabilize a lot of the realm uh, with an astounding medium crown authority. I'm going to do my best to uh, bring us up to absolute as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll be in a small amount of money hole. Sure. So, Holy War for Provence. Soldiers. 
Oh, whoops. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's let's get going. To the rally point. We're we'll even calling the troops down from Luxembourg. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, we'll definitely be doing that. All right. Good. All right, with 14,000, 15,000. So, Bavaria hasn't joined in, although some other nearbys have. We need to go aid them. Because they've get managed to get a lot of extra dudes. There we are. Whew. That was a little more costly than I would have liked. Also, the attrition here is going to be abysmal if we don't split the army. There we are. Alright. here. Good. I mean, the attrition up here is still going to be this freaking terrible. Uh, do a quick siege here, will you? Let's try and help the situation. Really? How bad is this? 6,000 supply limit? Ugh. And, well... You'll have to do. You guys are taking attrition. If you're taking attrition, there's no reason not to assault since they're gonna die anyway. Alright. Good. Oh, and we've actually already hit 100. All the better. I'm good. Imperial decadence will be reduced by 1. Is now 0. Oh, well, it's, boy, is it a bad time to be you. I mean, honestly, this seems like the kind of thing for the retinue to take care of and not the main army. Because somehow I'm not super worried about any of it. That said. Uh, distribute the holdings, please. Alright, we hold the Duchy of Provence, so, grand landed title, one Duchy of Provence, good. And so the realm expands, oh, and this war came to its end, all the better. <sighs> Slowly but surely we make our way towards Rome. Must have a valid Caspoli. It's on the to-do list. We'll fight our way through the Italian peninsula and take Rome someday. In the meantime... Oh, hello, new British king. Or Breton, Breton king, sorry. Uh, I think we take the rest of Toulouse here. Because, I mean, we only have a few things that we take at this point. We have Upper Pyrenees, we have Toulouse, and we have... Uh, Bourbon? Yeah. And I guess Avrange. Although most of it's under control of Italy. So, we'll start with the rest of the Duchy of Toulouse. Our community grows... Why do you want Rome? Well, it's one of our holy sites, which makes it kind of important. So that would be why. 
Uh, I mean, I guess we'll also need the Duchy Dauphine, won't we? That is a holy side as well. Didn't consider that too much. Also, thank you to Spike Taylor for following. Alright. So many raiders on my coast. Alright, just march, we'll meet in Toulouse. We should be able to amass enough forces here quickly enough that uh, they won't overrun us. Keyword should. And it looks like just barely is the answer. Alright. Hit the just finish it, yeah. Go. March on to their army. Good. The Joms Vikings. Let's hope they stay clear of us. Yeah, the uh, Nordic religion is gaining a lot of strength. Currently held by the Celts. They've been doing pretty well, but their holy sites are at least split up between different kingdoms, so there's no real threat of, uh, you know, them properly whatchamahuzits reforming. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, nonetheless, caution is advised. And march on our range. Alright. Four set of demands. Similarly, once more, distribute the holdings. Good. Not bad. So, we're getting there. Progress is being made. I think we only have uh, three more plans for Holy Wars uh, against Brittany. Yeah. Well, no, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, after which, I don't know. We might take the rest of the kingdom in Burgundy. We'll see. We shall see. Alright. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to create the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Uh, the problem is if I create it, it just means I don't need, like, a claim to take this guy out. That's the only reason I have to create it. Which seems a little bit unnecessary. Because then, you know, it's going to be minus 20 with everyone around here who's going to be like, I desire this kingdom. Either way. Transfer Vassal. Nevadian. Uh, yep. Transfer Vassal. Toulouse. There you are. Don't you have Toulouse? Now it actually has all of Toulouse. Well, I'll tell you what. If you'd like, you can uh, pay a ransom. No? I'll be merciful, at least. Alright. Good. On a side note, in that expansion, did we get enough for one more retinue group? Yeah, thank goodness. Now it's a proper balanced 3-3-3. Alright. Because you guys, you still have my strong desires, right? Yeah, desires the kingdom of Sagathica, so. As a general rule, I don't really want to be holding kingdoms, in all honesty. Like, it would probably be best to do it now. I've ruled for a long time, and the people there generally like me. 
So getting rid of the kingdoms, although it costs us a pile of prestige, like that minus 40 opinion is in reality only a minus 20 from where we were currently. Because now, destroyed leash title, oh well. Um, yeah, I don't have the minus 20 from they desire it anymore. So, in the end, perfectly fine. And also, an excellent time for us to end today's episode here. So we started with the retinue. We've uh, won our first war against the now crumbling kingdom of Italy. Apparently Bavaria is not doing much better. Pagan kingdoms aren't exactly known for stability, I suppose. The Kingdom of England has properly formed, unsurprisingly, still holding the Duchy of Norway, Normandy. Oh, history. I don't know how you're doing. The English-Scottish Subjugation War. Well, that's, uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like the Germans may yet win out on the Isles. I was, uh, I was betting on the Celts, but... Hmm. The Australia never bet them out. Speaking of, this entire thing, I think I've entirely forgotten that I need to be telling you to, like, proselytize things. Uh, I do that sometimes. It's fine, though. Just go convert some Chalestonians. So, thank you everybody for watching. I've been your lovely, lovely host, Kilvin, signing off.